Today, Jesus speaks to you. My beloved child, as you step into your divine purpose, I invite you to recognize the power you have to create a new reality. You are not merely a passive observer in this world, subject to the whims of fate or circumstance. You are a creator, a co-author of your own life, endowed with the ability to shape your experiences through your thoughts, your words, and your actions. You have within you the power to create a life that reflects your renewed self, a life that is filled with joy, with peace, with love. You are not bound by the past, not limited by your circumstances, not defined by what has come before. You are free to create anew, to build a life that aligns with your highest truth, your deepest desires, your divine purpose. Begin by understanding that your thoughts are powerful. They are seeds that you plant in the fertile ground of your mind. What you think, you become. What you believe, you create. Therefore, I call you to think thoughts that are aligned with truth, with love, with possibility. Think thoughts that uplift, that inspire, that expand your sense of what is possible. Let go of thoughts that limit you, that diminish you that keep you small. You are not small. You are not small. You are vast. You are divine. Use your words wisely, my child, for they too are powerful. They are the vibrations that shape your reality, the declarations that set your intentions, the affirmations that align you with your highest self. Speak words of love, of kindness, of encouragement. Speak words that reflect the truth of who you are, that express your deepest desires, that affirm your divine purpose. Let go of words that harm, that divide, that create discord. Your words have the power to build up or to tear down. Choose to build, to create, to bless. Share this video with nine people who believe in God by typing Jesus is Savior in the comment box. I, the universe's creator, am with and for you. What else could you possibly require? If you sense any lack, it's because there's not a profound connection between us. I give abundant life. All you have to do is put your trust in me and stop worrying about anything. Your anxiety is more a result of your thoughts about those negative experiences than of the actual number of them. Your subconscious works to take charge of a situation and create the outcome you want. Your mind is like a pack of wolves, closing in on the issue. You forget that I am in charge of your life because you are so determined to have things happen your way. The sole solution is to refocus your attention on my presence instead of the issue. Put an end to your efforts and wait to see what I will accomplish. The Lord is me. I am the Lord for you. Seek me as loving sovereign over all and as a friend. As you look ahead at the day that lies ahead of you, you might start making some plans. Recollect that I am also king of your soul. You must ostentatiously postpone those plans, anticipating that I might have other ideas. The most powerful what is to be decided is what has to be done immediately. Focus on the task at hand and the one who is always by your side, rather than glancing around your life to find things that need to be done. Everything else should take a back seat. Your mind will get clearer as a result, making room for me to take up more and more of your awareness. You can rely on me to guide you on what to do once you've completed your current task. I'll walk you through everything step by step as you submit to my will, as a result, you follow the path of serenity near to me. Remember this while you sit quietly in my presence. I am an abundant God. I have boundless resources at my disposal, and I can bless you indefinitely. When it comes to necessities, you live in a world of supply and demand. I am are frequently in short supply. You witness poverty all around you. Even if you don't personally have enough, you are unable to understand the abundance of my provisions or the entirety of my magnificent riches. You get glimpses of my utter immensity when you spend time in my presence. 
These brief peaks are very little samples of what's to come. Lastly, in paradise, you can access as much of me right now as you have trust in receiving. Celebrate your abundance, living by faith rather than sight. I appreciate your troubles. As soon as a problem catches your attention, bring it to me with gratitude. Then request that I show you my approach to the matter. Saying thank you itself frees your thoughts from dwelling on your shortcomings. The issue becomes less significant and less likely to trip you up if you focus on me. We have two options for handling the matter, addressing it directly or putting it off for later thought. The majority of the issues that are bothering you are ones that you have borrowed from future. They are not today's problems. Type I love you, Lord, if you agree. In this instance, I remove the issue from now and place it somewhere down the road, out of sight. I offer you my peace, which overflows from my presence in its stead. For whatever you require, come to me. Give thanks as you enter my presence, for gratitude leads to my treasures. Being grateful confirms the fundamental truth that I am a nice person. There is absolutely no darkness since I am light. The knowledge that I am completely okay satisfies your fundamental desire for security. You do not live your life at the whim of a God marred by sin. Remain calm, knowing that the person who deceived you is completely reliable. Approach me with self-assured expectations. Nothing is beyond my ability to supply for you. There is no security in the world you live in. You frequently perform mental checks, lists of actions you should take to take back control of your life. If only you could cross everything off your list, you would be able to unwind and find tranquility. However, as you strive toward achieving that objective, more items appear on your list. You get more frustrated the harder you try. In this world, there's a better method to obtain security, rather than examining your checklist in detail. Concentrate on my presence with you. We will be in my peace as long as we are in constant contact. Additionally, I'll assist you in determining what needs to be done right now and what can wait. Focus on what is invisible, my presence, rather than what is seen, your perimeter. Meet me in the morning stillness, when my presence is still fresh on the land. Adore me in the splendor of purity. Sing romantic tunes. In the name of my Holy One, my spirit grows within you as you surrender to me, filling you with my divine presence. The world uses clutching and hoarding as a means of pursuing wealth. You give and let go to receive my riches. I fill you with an indescribable heavenly joy the more you dedicate yourself to me and my ways. If I am genuinely your master, you will want to please me more than anything else because you cannot serve two masters. You will be chained to people if your purpose is to please them. Give someone this kind of control over you and they can become cruel taskmasters. I shall be your first love if I become the master of your life. My immense, unwavering love for you is the foundation upon which your service to me is built. I raise you up into an intimate relationship with me in proportion to how low you bow down to me. All other pleasures pale in comparison to the joy of living in my presence. I want you to live a life of growing intimacy so that you might reflect my joyful light. Macy alongside me, the key to living a rich life is to be dependent on yourself. You are growing in your appreciation of difficult situations because they make you more conscious of my presence. Jobs you used to hate are now wonderful chances to experience my proximity. You enjoy leaning on me because you know that I am your strength when you're feeling fatigued. Your increasing propensity to turn to me, especially when you're by yourself, irritates me. You frequently lose sight of my presence when you are with other people. You become enslaved to others out of a fear of upsetting them, making them your main focus. Whisper my name when you realize this has happened. This small gesture of faith puts me front and center in your mind where I belong. As you enjoy the benefits of my proximity, my life can radiate outward through you to others. 
This is a life of plenty. When things don't work out the way you planned, own it right away. Feelings of remorse are readily allowed to overflow if they are indulged. Becomes bitterness. Remind yourself that I am in control of your situation and submit to my omnipotent will. Type, thank you God if you love God. Despite the fact that you cannot comprehend what I am doing in your life, rejoice in it. The life, the truth, and the path are all me. You have all you require in me for both this life and the one to come. Keep your attention on yourself and don't allow the outside environment to break your way of thinking. The greatest test is to maintain eye contact with me regardless of the circumstances surrounding you. You can see situations from my point of view when I take center stage in your mind. Come to me with your unfulfilled plans. Give me thanks in both truth and spirit, letting my glory fill your whole being. Have enough faith in my to allow my to lead you through the day while I fulfill my goals at my appointed time. Give my master plan precedence over all of your plans. I have complete control over every area of your life. You are always faced with the challenge of trusting me and looking for my path every day. You won't get what I have in store for you if you just mindlessly go down the same old path. My ways are higher than your ways, just as the skies are higher than the earth, and my thoughts as opposed to yours. Come to me when your sins weigh heavily on you. Before you speak a word, admit your fault, which I already know about. Remain aware of my presence while asking for forgiveness, purification, and healing. Recall that nothing can separate you from me because I have clothed you in my righteousness. I'm here to support you if you trip or fall. You up. Man has a propensity to run away from his sin and seek safety in the shadows. He indulges in self-blame, self-righteousness, self-pity, denial, and contempt there. However, I am the world's light, and the darkness is utterly destroyed by my light. Draw near to me so that my light might fill you, eradicating the gloom and entering you with tranquility. I am a God who never stops giving. Nothing was withheld from me when I died on the cross for you. My life was spilled forth like a drink offering. Since giving is ingrained in my character, I look for individuals who have the capacity to receive completely. Receptivity and attentiveness are the two qualities you need most in order to become more intimate with me. Self-receptive means allowing my vast riches to flood your deepest self. Being attentive means keeping your eyes on me and looking for me everywhere you go. As the prophet Isaiah stated, it is possible to keep your thoughts fixed on me. You are given a wonderful gift by your attentiveness. My full peace, I am looking after you. Never doubt me at all. Periods, have faith in me at all times. Give me your whole trust. These four words can still be said when you're tired and feel like nothing is working. I trust you, Jesus. You give up control of the situation and return to the safety of my everlasting arms. When you do this, I have planned out your entire day before you even get out of bed in the morning. There are several opportunities every day for you to understand my methods and get closer to me. Indications of my presence when you have truly seeing eyes, you can make even the gloomiest day brighter. Look for me like you would a lost treasure you will locate me. You possess everything in me. You are whole in me. You are whole in me. You're becoming more and more able to encounter me as I clear your heart of junk and mess. Your passion for me is progressively diminishing as your want for me grows. It is best to desire me beyond all else because I am infected night and readily available to you. You cannot possibly have needs that you are unable to satisfy. I did, after all, create everything, even you. I still have the entire world at my disposal, despite how frequently it seems otherwise. Don't let appearances deceive you. While things that are unseen are eternal, those that are visible are transient and short-lived, are transient and short-lived. 
type I love dearly, you father. My beloved child, now that you have begun transforming your daily life, I invite you to take the next step to embrace your true self. You are not merely a reflection of your experiences, your circumstances, your circumstances, or what the world has told you to be. You are more than the roles you play, more than the titles you hold, more than the expectations placed upon you. At your core, you are a divine being, created in my image, filled with light, love, and infinite potential. I call you now to discover and embrace this true self, the essence of who you are beyond the masks and layers that the world may have placed upon you. You are not defined by your past, your mistakes, or even your successes. You are not the sum of what you have done or failed to do. You are, at your deepest level, a beloved child of the divine, uniquely crafted with purpose, with meaning, and with an inherent value that cannot be diminished or taken away. Let go of the false identities that you have carried. Let go of the need to be what others expect of you, the pressure to conform to standards that do not resonate with your soul. These identities are but shadows, illusions that keep you from seeing your true self. You are not your fears, your doubts, or your insecurities. You are not your achievements, your accolades, or your possessions. You are not what others have called you, labeled you, or thought of you, labeled you, or thought of you. You are far more than all of these. My child, I ask you to look within, to seek out the divine spark that resides in the depths of your being. This is the true you, the eternal you, the part of you that is unchanging, untouched by the world's shifting tides. This is the you that I created. The you that I love, the you that I celebrate. Embrace this self, this true divine self. Let it rise to the surface, let it shine through in all you do. To embrace your true self is to let go of the illusions of separation, of lack, of fear. It is to recognize that you are already whole, already whole, already complete, already enough, just as you are. You do not need to become something else, achieve something more, or prove anything to anyone, including yourself. You are already loved beyond measure, already worthy beyond comprehension, already precious in my sight. You are a being of love, and your true self is an expression of this love. Let this love flow through you. Let it guide your actions, your words, your thoughts. Let it be the foundation upon which you build your life. When you live from this place of love, you are living in alignment with your true self. You are living authentically, fully, and freely. Let go of the fear that holds you back. Fear is a shadow that dims your light, a weight that keeps you from soaring. But you were not created for fear. You were created for fear. You were created for love, for joy, for freedom. Trust in me. Trust in the love that I have placed within you and let it guide you forward. Know that you are safe. You are protected. You are protected. You are loved and there is nothing to fear. My beloved, let go of the external expectations that try to shape you into something you are not. You are not here to meet the standards of the world, but to fulfill the divine purpose that I have placed within you. You are here to be the fullest, most authentic expression of your unique self. You are here to share your gifts, to shine your light, to bring your unique flavor of love into the world. Do not be afraid to be who you truly are. Do not be afraid to stand out, to be different, to be unique. You are a masterpiece crafted by the hands of the Creator and there is no one else like you in all of existence. Celebrate your uniqueness, your individuality, your divine essence. Do not hide it. Do not diminish it. Do not apologize for it. Instead, let it shine brightly for all the world to see. Know that your true self is more than enough. You do not need to be anything other than who you are to be loved, to be valued, 
to be valued, to be worthy. You are enough because I have made you enough. You are enough because my love for you is infinite, unchanging, and eternal. You are enough because you are mine, and nothing can ever change that. Live authentically, my child. Speak your truth, share your heart, and express your unique gifts and talents. Do not be afraid to let your light shine, for the world needs it. The world needs your voice, your perspective, your love. The world needs you in all your fullness, in all your glory, in all your truth. Do not hold back. Do not play small. Step into the fullness of who you are and let your light shine brightly. To embrace your true self is to let go of the fear of judgment, the fear of rejection, the fear of failure. It is to know that you are loved and accepted just as you are, without condition, without exception. It is to know that your worth is not determined by what others think of you, but by the truth of who you are in me. Let go of the need for external validation, for approval, for acceptance. You are already accepted, already validated, already approved by the one who matters most. My child, know that you are perfectly imperfect, wonderfully unique, divinely designed. Your flaws, your quirks, your differences, they are all part of what makes you special. What makes you, you embrace them, celebrate them, and know that they are part of the divine tapestry that is your life. You do not need to be perfect to be loved, to be valuable, to be valuable, to be valuable, to be worthy. You are already all of these, just as you are. As you embrace your true self, you will find a peace that surpasses all understanding, a joy that flows from the depths of your being, a love that knows no bounds. You will feel the freedom of living authentically, of being true to who you are. You will no longer feel the need to hide, to pretend, to conform. You will feel the joy of living in alignment with your soul of fulfilling your divine purpose, of being exactly who you were created to be. You are a divine being, my child, and you are here for a reason. You have a purpose, a mission, a calling that is uniquely yours. Embrace it, live it, and know that I am with you, guiding you, supporting you, loving you every step of the way. Trust in me, trust in yourself, and know that you are on the right path. This is your time, your moment to embrace your true self, to let go of the false identities, the external expectations, the fears that hold you back, to step into the fullness of who you are and live with authenticity, with courage, with love. You are more than you know, more than you can imagine, more than the world has told you. You are a child of the divine, a being of light, a vessel of love, Embrace your true self, my beloved, and know that you are loved, cherished, and celebrated just as you are. You are my child, my creation, my masterpiece. You are perfect in your imperfection, beautiful in your uniqueness, powerful in your uniqueness, powerful in your truth. Do not be afraid to be who you are, for you are exactly who you are meant to be. Live fully. Live boldly, live authentically, let your light shine, let your love flow, let your true self be seen, and know that I am with you, now and always, loving you, guiding you, supporting you every step of the way. Type Amen if you believe in Christianity. My beloved child, as you embrace your true self, it is time to step into the fullness of your divine purpose. Know that you are not here by accident or coincidence. You were created with a unique purpose, a sacred mission that only you can fulfill. This purpose is woven into the very fabric of your being. It is the reason for your existence, the call of your soul, the heartbeat of your life. I have placed within you gifts and talents that are uniquely yours. These are not random or insignificant. They are the tools I have given you to fulfill your divine purpose. You have been crafted with care, 
designed with intention and endowed with everything you need to make a difference in this world. Your gifts are your light, your contribution, your way of expressing my love in tangible ways. Understand that your purpose is not something you have to find outside of yourself. It is not hidden in the distant corners of the world, nor is it a puzzle that you must solve. Your purpose is already within you, planted like a seed in the soil of your soul. It is waiting to be nurtured, to be cultivated, to be brought to life. Trust that I have already given you all that you need to fulfill this purpose. Your journey now is to uncover it, to embrace it, and to live it fully. Begin by asking yourself, what brings you joy? What makes your heart sing? What are the things you do that make time seem to stand still? These are clues, my child, to your divine purpose. Your purpose is not meant to be a burden, but a joy, a source of fulfillment and passion. It is the thing that you do with ease, with love, with enthusiasm. It is the way you bring your unique light into the world. Your purpose may not look like anyone else's, and that is exactly how it should be. You are unique, and your purpose is uniquely yours. Do not compare yourself to others. Do not measure your path against theirs. Trust that I have a plan for you, a path that is perfectly suited to who you are. Your purpose may be quiet or bold, big or small in the eyes of the world, but know that it is equally important, equally valuable, equally necessary. Every purpose is divine, every purpose is sacred, and every purpose is needed. I call you to use your gifts and talents for the greater good. You are here not just for yourself, but to serve, to uplift, to make a difference in the lives of others. Your gifts are not meant to be hidden away, but to be shared generously and freely. When you use your gifts, when you step into your purpose, you are participating in the great tapestry of creation. You are adding your unique thread, your unique color, your unique color, your unique beauty to the masterpiece I am weaving. Know that as you step into your divine purpose, you will experience a joy and fulfillment that cannot be found in anything else. You will feel a deep sense of satisfaction, a knowing that you are exactly where you are meant to be, doing exactly what you are meant to do. This is the joy of living in alignment with your true self, of manifesting the purpose I have placed within you. Do not be afraid to take the first step, my child. I know that stepping into your purpose can feel daunting, can feel overwhelming. You may wonder if you are ready, if you are ready, if you are worthy, if you are worthy, if you have what it takes. But remember, I do not call the equipped, I equip the called. Trust that I will provide all that you need, that I will guide you, support you, and walk with you every step of the way. You are not alone in this journey. I am with you, guiding you, supporting you, cheering you on. When you feel unsure, turn to me. When you feel afraid, lean on me. When you feel weak, draw from my strength. I am your constant companion, your greatest advocate, your most devoted supporter. You are never alone, never without help, never without guidance. As you manifest your divine purpose, remember that it is not about perfection, but about progression, but about progress. It is not about having all the answers, but about being open to the journey. It is not about doing everything at once, but about taking one step at a time, trusting that each step is leading you closer to the fulfillment of your purpose. Be patient with yourself, be kind to yourself, and know that every step you take, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. Your purpose is a gift, not just to you, but to the world. When you live your purpose, you inspire others to do the same. You become a beacon of light, a source of hope, a reminder that each of us has a role to play, a purpose to fulfill, a difference to make. Do not underestimate the power of your purpose, my child. Do not doubt the impact you can have. You are capable of more than you know, more than you can imagine, more than you can imagine, more than the world has told you. 
I call you now to step boldly into your divine purpose, to use your gifts and talents with confidence and joy. Know that you are doing my work, fulfilling my plan, bringing my love into the world in ways that only you can. Know that every action, no matter how small, is significant, is meaningful, is sacred. Trust in me, trust in your purpose, and trust in yourself. The joy of living with purpose is unparalleled. It is the joy of knowing that you are in the right place, doing the right thing, making a difference. It is the joy of feeling my pleasure, my delight, my pride in you. It is the joy of knowing that you are a co-creator with me, bringing more love, more light, more beauty into the world. This is your time, my beloved, your time to step into your purpose, to live with intention, to make the impact you are here to make. Do not hold back. Do not play small. Do not doubt your worth. You are here for a reason. You are needed. You are valuable. Your purpose is divine. Your gifts are sacred. Your life is a blessing. Go forth, my child, and manifest your divine purpose. Use your gifts, share your talents, be a light in the world. Know that I am with you, guiding you, supporting you, loving you every step of the way. Trust in me, trust in your purpose, and know that you are exactly where you are meant to be, doing exactly what you are meant to do. Type Jesus is Supreme King. Dear listeners, let's join our prayers together. Father in heaven, I come to you now, wanting to relax in your soft embrace and finding solace in your steadfast love. Romans 8.35 assures us that nothing can ever separate us from your love, not even hardship, starvation, persecution, danger, or nakedness. I need to firmly ground my spirit in this knowledge during these uncertain times, knowing that your love never wavers. Lord, please pardon me for the times I let fear win and cause doubt and delusion of my faith. Assist me in fully appreciating the breadth and depth of your unfathomable love. Teach me to let go of my fears and take comfort in the fact that your love is unfailing. I know, Father, that your love never wavers, even in the moments when I feel alone or abandoned. According to Romans 8.38, nothing can ever separate us from you, not even life or death, principalities or angels, the past, present, or future. Remind me, whenever I stumble, of this truth, I may find serenity and calm in you. Sometimes when I'm weak, I wonder if I deserve your love. However, Romans 8.39 makes it clear that nothing in the entire universe, including myself, will ever be able to take away from your love, which is found in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, please help me to remember that your love is based on your unwavering character as a loving father, not on my deeds or accomplishments, when I feel unworthy or distant. Please support our channel. Our work is to bring happiness in your life and devotion to God, and possibly even click the super thank button to make gift. We would really appreciate it.